Okay, good afternoon and good morning. I'm Lee jong -wook of Hills Engineering, uh, sorry, Hills Robotics. Uh, we're in the middle of changing our business name from engineering to robotics. Uh, do you guys can see the presentation screen? Okay, let me start. Uh, Hills Robotics was established in 2016, and ever since then, we have explored how to make better autonomous, autonomous mobility for robots. Uh, the, the guy on the left side is our boss, the CEO and the founder of this company, Austin. He worked for Korean Air and Emart and Samsung Tesco. The letter, the two, the Emart and Samsung Tesco are the local retail giants. <laughs> background in logistics area. That's why he, he decided to build this, decided to form this company. And we have also uh, we have also have a bunch of R&D records for autonomous mobility and logistics robots. Uh, we have our headquarters in this in here, Pangyo Startup Campus, and we have also R&D center in nearby area and factory as well. Uh, these these guys are our executives. All of them uh, once worked at Samsung, one of the Samsung groups. And our lead researcher is also uh, once worked for Samsung Electronics. Uh, around 85% of our staff are technical experts. And we have a bunch of proud history, including the two consecutive, sorry, the CES 2021 Innovation Award and CES 2022 Innovation Award, uh, along with Red Dot Awards 2021. And this year we will uh, we are taking steps to export our main product to Indonesia. We signed PO recently, and we are expecting more to come. Uh, we are developing autonomous mobile robot hardware and software at the same time. And the pictures on the bottom of the screen are our portfolio, and the left and the the robot on the left side are is our main product, the low robot. Robot for logistics center or fulfillment center. Uh, so uh, we have our own proprietary software to run this robot, which also offer the robot management system. Or our end client may choose the software of Move AI, which is a brilliant partner of us uh, who provides software as well. And we don't need any external markers on the ground to run this robot because we only use a slim based uh, solution. And our proprietary software uh, replaces Hapti 3D LiDAR with uh, affordable ones. I'll explain it later. And our one of the main character, one of the main strengths of our robot is the dual mode of driving. You can set its route or you can make it follow you it'll give you more flexibility uh, to cope with unexpected changes on the ground. And you can attach a roll container like the picture on the bottom right side. Uh, this is an extension option. And this is, a, this is another uh, robot of us, which is being used in a municipal children's museum right now at the moment. Uh, this is a very little uh, short robot uh, which can appeal to a children audience. And this is our robot for disinfection, uh, especially the third one uh, with the name of the third type gave us last year's innov CES Innovation Award. Uh, this can kill virus with uh, disinfectant spray as well as heat air circulator. And this one gave us this year's CES Innovation Award. This can guide people, and this can also disinfect nearby area. And uh, let me show you one of our promotional videos, which was filmed at one of our local clients. You can set its route, or you can make it follow you. As you can see on the screen, uh, this is main, 
this this robot is designed to be used uh, primarily in a fulfillment center where many workers have to pick items and put it on a robot uh, or if you don't have any robot then put it on a cart okay sorry uh, and let me cover our strengths uh, the first one is our rich experience in logistics field uh, the the previous form of this company was the engineering and logistics consulting agency uh, so we have like 30 more 30 plus years of experience in logistics field so we can understand well about how our end clients uh, solve their problems what they need and we can provide the right solution to them with our hardware and engineers as well as the solutions from our brilliant r d partners now, some of them come some of them are tech firms in silicon valley and the others are from israel and based on the rich experience in logistics on the ground we designed we ergonomically designed our robot uh, we know most workers try to avoid bending over because they don't they don't want to have lower back pain so we designed the cargo rack of our robot as the height of the average Korean worker's weight height and the width of the cargo rack of the robot is the average Korean worker's arm's length so that we can minimize unnecessary movement of workers while along their work and this is the core of our strength, uh, consisting of reliability and cost effectiveness. There may be robot makers out there who can offer cheaper robots, but most of them don't have rich experience, rich expertise on the ground, but we do. So we can offer adequate and right solutions for the unexpected variables on the ground. We have our solutions by the name of smart care system to extend prompt and robust software updates. Based on our experience, around 90% of challenges on the ground can be resolved with software. And we will offer prompt uh, predictive maintenance so that our end clients can minimize the, the amount of time robots sit idle. With this way, we can lower the cost of ownership in the long run. And our proprietary software for running the robot can replace the happy 3D LiDAR with like ordinary 3D LiDAR. In this way, we can reduce the, the robot price because the large share of robot price is accounted by the census. In this way, we can also offer robots with reasonable price. And this is the configuration of our proprietary software for robot management and control, uh, which is Solomon. Uh, the software can make robots self-write and follow a designated worker or uh, find the recharger automatically. And with this software, you can manage multiple robots at the one place, like setting their routes setting their tasks uh, and giving them priority when it comes to robots stuck in a bottleneck. And you can monitor their routes, their uh, tasks, their status, battery status as well. And you can simulate uh, your, your route and you can manage all those data at one place. And this software also provides preventative, sorry, predictive maintenance. And there's a software and solution for automatic pain inspection so that our end client can, can uh, keep like hundreds of robots clean and neat uh, without sweat. And this is our brilliant partner for robot software by the name of Move AI. This is Israeli based company. Uh, basically, their solutions and ours are pretty much the same, but they have more references. And this is our strategic alliance. The first, the top tier 
has to do with R&D for autonomous mobility solution. As mentioned before, uh, the DreamView, that is our Vision AI partner uh, in Silicon Valley, and Robot AI and Move AI are Israeli based partner for uh, Robot Software. And we are also working with some of the leading research institutes of home and abroad, including Flanders Make of Belgium and Kite and Heining University. And this is our mid to long term vision. Uh, building of on-man logistic system. Uh, with this, with this system, there will uh, our end client won't need any workers on the ground because they can be replaced with our uh, robot consortium. Our uh, lower bus will help work will ha will help uh, the stock management and carrying of robots and other. Other types of robots will do their job at the mid or top uh, for the mid and top shelf of each rack. This is it. Thank you. Thank you so much for the presentation. Much appreciated. Very interesting to find out uh, exactly where you're going into the uh, what industries you're hoping to go into specifically. Uh, fulfillment centers in that area, but also cool to see a little bit of the, um, uh, you said that was your robot in the uh, education, the Children's Science Museum as well? Correct, correct, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to open the floor to Clement to ask any potential questions to you um, and maybe give his opinions on uh, the EU market as well. So Clement, if you're available, can you jump on in? Yeah, sure. Uh, so first, uh, thank you. I think it's pretty interesting to see this kind of robot um, working on the ground and uh, also in different setups, like, for example, the, the museum. Uh, you, you mentioned that your goal is um, basically replacing people. Um, and uh, the thing that I can see here is so you, you mentioned that you are not the cheapest, um, you don't have the cheapest robot. Um, um, but how, how does that work? Like, let's say a company buys this robot. Uh, is it just the price of the robot? Or is there also like some equipment? Because you mentioned that the robot doesn't have like markers on the ground um and stuff like this so is it guided by some other equipment in the factory or how does that work uh, okay uh i brought our boss austin who is founder of this company as well as ceo uh but i i think i can answer to your question by myself uh we're, uh I said, yes, I said, we don't need any marker because we use a specific solution for autonomous mobility by the name of FLAN. Uh, you can imagine how bats or dol dolphins move. They use ultrasonic, right? Mm -hmm. And see the world with the reflection of the specific wave. And, okay. uh, and with our robot, our robot see the environment with reflection of laser that is the light off and uh i think you said uh what do i think uh what makes our end client buy our product is that correct mm -hmm. uh it'll be uh it will be covered uh it i think it was covered at this slide uh I believe our reliability and cost effectiveness okay. will be enough for clients to make decisions for purchasing our robot. Because the 30 plus years of expertise in logistics ground mm -hmm. uh, gave us enough understanding of the sector and domain, and we can in, we can make and uh, we make our robot software and robot uh, robot software's content 
with that information, with that knowledge. With that in mind, we can extend a practical, practical robot update and practical um, troubleshooting service for our customer. Okay, so it's uh, it's just working with ultrasonic uh, um, kind of a, a view, um, but how does this? Like, for example, if you wanted to go to the other side of uh, the factory, how does it know uh, where it is in the factory and where to go? What What is the route to go there? Uh, you will make the robot learn where they are. Uh, in the factory? Call it mapping, yes. Okay, okay. So you, you, will, uh, you will keep the robot um, explore the environment autonomic, autonomously. Mm -hmm. And by this way, the robot will learn the floor plan. And, okay. so, so if a company buys your product, they are just buying the robot itself, no other equi equipment, right? Yes, we don't okay. need any other equipment for the, for the robot. Okay, I think uh, that's all for me. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Um, are you, for my last question, I guess, um, are you, when you're talking about the European market, you're talking about mostly fulfillment centers. Is that the number one target out there? Yeah. Uh, do you have any countries in particular you were hoping to start with, or is it an overall, um, I'm not entirely sure how delivery services work out in, in Europe, to be honest, but is, it, is there any countries in particular that you're looking at? Uh, let me ask it to our boss. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry. No worries, worries. No worries. Thank you. 그 저희가 유럽에 진출을 할때 가장 우선시하는 일까요? 어 우리가 유럽에 진출한다고 하면은 어, 스마트 팩토리에 관심이 있고 그 다음에 아무래도 풀핀먼트 센터 쪽에 관심이 있습니다. 예를 들어서 벨지움이라든지. 어, 룩셈부르크 쪽에는 알리바바 유, 유, UK 또는 어, 아마존 UK가 있는데 그런 쪽에 관심이 많습니다. 그럼 국가는 벨기에가 될까요? 벨기에나 그 룩셈부르크가 있지만은 그게 허브, 허브로서 근데 국가를 에, 저희들이 에, 국한하지 않고 어, 유럽 전반적으로 뭐 독일, 에, 프랑, 프랑스, 뭐 영국 이런 데가 좋겠죠. 아... We don't have any specific priority right at, at this moment, but just, we are just thinking of uh, maybe Belgium, Luxembourg, uh, UK, or Germany, or France. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Um, that's all the questions I have as well. Um, I appreciate you spending time to share with us a little bit of your company's uh, background, technologies, and information. Thank you. Uh, so great. So that was Hills Robotics. Um, thank you so much for joining us out uh, and talking with us um, with Mr. Jong Lee.